and welcome back to the second part of what we are now calling Lindsay Illuminates It, much better than Lindsay's Lessons. You can go ahead and download the topic sheets on our website for absolutely free. So if you haven't watched number one, that was all about your life and what a miracle um, it is for you to be here. And now we're going to move on to topic number two, external systems. So what I mean by external systems are things like education, healthcare, social media, society, expectations, those kinds of things. Everything is not as it seems. And I don't mean this in a, I don't want to start a whole conspiracy kind of vibe going on. But the whole point of this topic number two, and it coming as number two, is just to set the scene to set that curiosity that it is worth doing your research and it is worth questioning everything. Question what you've been taught, question where people are coming from, where the systems are coming from, why they might be saying what they're saying. So this is all about doing your own research. This isn't about me telling you what to think. The older I've got, the more I've realised how corrupt a lot of things are. Money dictates pretty much everything. So if there's money to be made, then it doesn't really matter what is good for us or what is right for us. It really just comes down to the profit margin and how much money can be made. I have come to realise that even the most trusted sources that you really think are in it for your health benefits, even those are dictated by money making schemes or guided by where the money is coming from or where there's money to be made. So again, I don't want to sound conspiratorial and I certainly don't want to push certain agendas onto you. The whole point of this lesson number two is just to bring that to the forefront and allow you to start doing that research for yourself, allow you to start having those conversations and really just start questioning, questioning things a little bit more than just accepting everything at face value. One of the things that definitely exerts a fair bit of control over us is norms and societal standards. My norms are going to be very different here in the UK to somewhere else and even in Leicestershire as a working class person it's going to be different to a middle class person um, or even elsewhere in the same country as me. But in general we are raised to fear the judgment of others and to fear what your neighbours might think and that can have a lot of control over your behaviour, over the choices that you make and this is what I mean about just being aware of those, just starting to think about how they might have guided you in, onto certain paths and whether it's truly what you want, whether you really think it's correct for you or whether that's been pushed upon you by maybe society or even by education. I work in education and it's taken me a long time to really understand how corrupt the actual the edu education system is because I'm really passionate about education and I think it's so important for us to empower young people with certain skills and with certain knowledge but when we look at traditional schooling it is very much about conforming over being curious. We are definitely taught what to think over how to think and that's what these little segments are all about is just giving you those seeds of thought that hopefully help you go on do some research of your own and develop thought trains for yourself around these topics and around these areas. We want you to be open-minded. At the moment I feel like there's a lot of unhealthy suppressed people coming out of the education system again we're taught that this is how this happened and if you even veer ever so slightly from the mainstream narrative then you risk being called crazy you're called a conspiracy theorist a pseudoscientist at the minute mainstream is very quick to label anybody who dares to question the mainstream narrative and that for me is a an indicator that we should be questioning it there's something there's something more there but b it's really unhealthy 
we will go into it a lot more further down the line with other topics but the world is a very exciting place and there's a lot that we do not know the answers to but you wouldn't think that because we are tested on our knowledge and the answers that we're told um for example the pyramids were built by egyptian slaves there's a lot now to suggest all sorts of other theories and yet that is something that is still taught as though it's a fact and there's so many things that were taught as though they're facts and they're not the healthcare system for example for all its positives there's a lot around our diet that's been pushed upon us as the norm and actually it's just money making schemes Again, I'm not here to tell you what to think. Just do a little bit of research. This is just to help you open open your mind and open your eyes as to the things that could be going on. Social media is a really interesting phenomenon. It's something that's very new. It's developed in my lifetime. When I was in my teens, social media was only really in its very, very early days. But what we found is that social media is very, very effective in policing the everyday thought patterns it's also very good at pitching us against each other so again i'd be really careful about what you're reading what's being leaked out there what's being put out there on purpose and the whole way that we are divided by our opinions and pitched against each other and by doing that it just keeps us from looking at the bigger picture it keeps us locked into these arguments that actually most of the time they've got nothing to do with us and us being engaged in these arguments does nothing for us other than distract us from what could be going on elsewhere. Social media, you might have heard it being described as the dopamine slot machine. So a lot of us that struggle with dopamine levels find ourselves on social media. And human attention is being bought and sold by companies that want to keep us locked into social media. It's actually quite disturbing what is going on with um with targeted adverts and just the very clever tricks that keep you locked into social media when you could be doing other things that are probably be far more effective for your health. There are even lots of studies and thought patterns that suggest that social media is rewiring our brains. It's creating shorter attention spans and just really changing the way that we think even the the light from our screens directly going into our eyes um different propaganda that's fed through social media so again just be aware faith can be a very very positive thing having faith that there's something more that there's a greater power a greater purpose living your life by um certain beliefs that you should treat everybody equal and with acceptance and kindness But you only have to look at how much war is going on over different religions to know that something's not quite adding up. Maybe religion is there to distract us from the bigger picture. Maybe there are seeds of truth scattered throughout religion that keep many, many people locked in. But it's actually something that's been constructed by man or with with a greater other purpose. Now, I just want to reiterate, I'm not here doing these topics to tell you what to think. I just want to create an opportunity to question what you're being told and to encourage and inspire people to do their own research. So, by all means, head over to our website at www.adifferenthumandesign.co.uk And if you go into our shop, you will find there's more than just these online resources that can be downloaded absolutely for free. Download the sheet and it's just kind of got little suggestions and just little areas just to get you started along that path of starting to question these things and starting to create some of your own thoughts and your own beliefs around these subjects. Lindsay illuminates it. Lindsay's II kind of similar to AA, but it's all about the mind and trying to open conversations. And again, I don't want people arguing over, well, this is the truth and that is the truth, but let's share what we think and let's have some really positive discussions about how we might be being manipulated, but also what solutions, how can we move forward from this? How can we share effective ways that are going to help people break free 
help people become the best versions they can be and live their lives in a way that they want to live.